What's going on guys, it's Asal, and today I'm going to be showing you how to configure virtual audio cables so that you can separate your Skype and TeamSpeak audio from your game sound. Now first things first, you're going to want to download the program Virtual Audio Cables. Now this is not a free program, though there are ways to get it for free if that's the route that you're wanting to take. So once you've downloaded it, you're going to want to navigate to the Virtual Audio Cables control panel and we're going to open this as administrator. Now up in the top left, you see we have the number of cables. This is initially set at 1 but we're gonna change this to two and then hit set. And then we should see two cables created down below here. Now that's all we have to do with this window. We won't ever be coming back here so we can get rid of that. Now next, we're gonna to go to our playback devices. Now you can see that we have created line one and line two. So first things first, we're gonna to go to the recording tab and for line one, we're going to double click, go to listen, check listen to this device, then select whatever device you use to play your sound, which for me is just speakers. Same thing for line two, double click, go to listen, listen to this device, and then select whichever device you use to play your sound, which again, is for me, is just speakers. Now with that being done, we're gonna go back to playback, and we're gonna set line one as our default device. You can do that by right clicking. I have already done that. Now if you can still hear me at this point and you're following along in the video, then you have done everything correct so far. So what exactly have we done? What we've done is we have created two audio devices for audio to come into our PC. So line one we've set as our default device. So all audio is gonna be coming out of line one, except for line two. We're gonna set Skype and TeamSpeak to have their output go to line two. So everything goes to line one, except for Skype and TeamSpeak, which comes to line two, but that's great. We have two devices playing the sounds we want, but we can't hear them, which is why we did the listen to those devices and have it play out of the speaker. So that's all we have to do with our recording devices. We can get rid of that. So let's configure Skype and TeamSpeak to have this audio output correctly. So in TeamSpeak, we'll go to Settings, Options, Playback on the left-hand side. And for Playback Device, we're going to select Line 2 because everything else is coming to Line 1, but we want Skype and TeamSpeak to come out of Line 2. Hit OK. That's all you have to do there. Same thing for Skype. Go to Call, Audio Settings, and under your speakers, you're gonna to wanna to set that to line two. Hit okay, or save rather. That's all you have to do for Skype. Now, how do you apply this to your recording software? Well, I use a program called Merlis Action, so I'm gonna show you how to do it in this. You're gonna to go to your audio tab, and for audio device, we're gonna capture all of the sound from line one, because line one is gonna be all of our system sounds, such as the game sound, so we're gonna to wanna to capture that but we're not gonna be capturing line two, which is the Skype and TeamSpeak audio. If we captured the speakers, we would be capturing both of them together. So we'll set that to line one. Now you can't do this with Shadowplay, unfortunately, which is why I haven't been using it lately now. So I can show you how to do this with DX Story, though. This is a program that I used to use, but I haven't been using it lately because it's difficult to get 60 frames per second with it. So under the audio tab on DX Story, we have one audio device set up, and we're gonna set that to line one, because again, line one is the device that has all of the game sound coming into it and no Skype or TeamSpeak audio. That's all we have to do. That's how you set it up so that you can separate your Skype and TeamSpeak audio from your gameplay. Now this works with other programs on Skype and TeamSpeak as long as you can set whatever your output device is for that sound. So guys, if you have trouble setting this up, Leave a comment down below. I can help you guys troubleshoot this. I'd love to chat with you guys. And if you found this helpful, please hit that like button. I always appreciate that, guys. This has been Asal, and I will see you guys next time.